Welcome to Centre Stage and this year's Get Live event. First off, I'd just like to introduce Jackson Owens and the drummer for Seth Century and Kimber as well, Stevie Cat Jr. How important has music been to your guys' mental health? How do you use music to improve your mental health? Um, are you, if you're having a down day, is just having a jam really, really help? It really is like a therapy and it's something that I truly, truly love. Um, it makes me feel a certain way and I just, every time I, I do it, it's like a sort of a cleanse for me even when I'm singing. For mental health, I feel like it's an awesome way of just, yeah, expressing yourself, um, no matter if you're playing drums, whacking the drums or singing, um, just using your gift. Because I feel like, um, you know, you might learn you might learn how to play, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's a gift you got. And just having people around you that, that support you and what you do is, is, is awesome for your mental health. And Yeah, you nailed it, bro. Um, it's like, yeah, it's full expression of whatever is inside you, you can put it out, you know, like sometimes you might not be able to say the words you want to say with your voice in the world, but sometimes you can get on your instrument and you can just speak through it, you know, and you can let it all out. Especially drums, man, you get to hit them real hard. Yeah. Makes you feel real good. Personally, music is everything to me, like listening to it, being a part of it, jamming, connecting with people in, in a jamming situation. There's like, if anyone's been in a band before and you're connecting with your fellow musicians, there's nothing like it. There's literally nothing like it. It's like you're riding this wave where, for me anyway, it's like time stands still, you know. You've forgotten about anything, you know. Everything is gone from your mind. You're in that moment, you know. And if you believe in anything, like any higher power, I feel like that's when we're connected to it because we're just in pure joy and connection, you know. It's only when your mind kicks in is when you get pulled out of it, you know. Yeah, and it's yeah. pure joy, expression, sadness, whatever, like music covers it all. But speaking of sort of your mind taking over, I'm an over-analyzer. Yeah. I like over-analyze every single thing I do. I can play this awesome epic gig, but I'll purposely find two things to annoy me for the rest of the week when, instead of being happy about it. Sitting here just being part of this, even I'm like, there's a part of my mind that wants to tell me that I'm no good and I don't deserve to be here, you know? How do you cope with that? Does that ever happen to you guys as well? It's still at the level that you're at? Yeah, for myself, I'm a huge overthinker as well. Um, very, like, picky. Um, I'll go to a gig and then people will tag me in their stories and stuff and I'm just criticising it, but that's something that I've got to work on myself. But in a way, it sort of makes you better. I feel like um, going back and just knowing what you did wrong is 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 a good thing because you're not always going to be the you're not always going to be bang on the mark. So you've got to improve, you know, constantly improve yourself. But don't don't let it get you down in a way. Just let it be like a constructive criticism, I guess. You know, just trying to make yourself better. So yeah, I've had some gigs where I didn't sound very good. So <laughs> yeah. Any time my brain takes over, it's not a good gig. You know, what's everybody thinking of me? Like, I just, am I going to blow this fill? The fill's coming. I'm going, oh my God, here comes the fill. All right, get ready. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Well, here it comes. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh, you blew it. Because you're overthinking it, you know what I mean? Like, every great gig I've had, I can barely remember thinking a thing. All I remember is the elation and joy I felt from the gig. Like, if I could remove my brain from every gig and just let me, as a musician, just speak and just turn my brain off, It'd be fantastic.